Hey guys, it's Matt Starr, and this is the video companion to my two-part series in Modern Drummer called Diamonds in the Rough, where we explore the three-stroke and the four-stroke rough. What I want to do is give you guys practical applications for these fills, and I want to give you ways to practice them that once you get these down, you're going to have an arsenal of killer fills. Before we get started, I want to explain a couple terms that are in these lessons to you guys. One is the echo method, and the other one is the master rhythm. The echo method is something I've used with my students, and I found it to be really effective. What it does is it takes a new lick that they're learning, breaks it down to just the notes, and then we play them alternate stroke, single stroke, on the snare drum. So you get the understanding of the rhythm, and then you pair that with the new lick, and you play them side by side, and it helps you to get the consistency happening, the note placement, and the dynamics right. We're using that a little bit differently in this three-stroke rough lesson, but in the four-stroke rough, we'll get into it. The master rhythm is the underlying pulse of any beat or lick that you're going to work on. And in this case, it's the 16th note. So that's why the three-stroke rough is played as a 16th note, and then it's constantly paired against a series of 16th notes. So you can check your consistency in your execution, in your intensity and also just how it feels. If you're getting tense when you're playing the three stroke rough but then you relax when you're playing the series of sixteenth notes, you want to balance that out so you're going to be chill. Okay, so we're going to do an eighth note at 60 beats per minute, okay, which is around here. That might seem really slow to some of you guys, but I want you to really dig into this and really get comfortable with this. Okay, so exercise one. Okay, exercise two, same thing, except now you're leading with your left. Next one, we're going to have three sets of triplets, and then we're going to go to the 16th notes. We're starting uh, line three. Four, same thing, leading with the left. might notice I'm hitting rim shots. That's just how I play. You don't have to do that, but I definitely recommend doing full open strokes on these hits. Number five, you got two sets of the three stroke rough and then we go into the 16th notes. thing, lead him with the left. Number seven, we're doing three stroke rough, four sixteenth notes, three stroke rough, four sixteenth notes. Same thing, now leading with the left. Eight. 
Exercise nine has you adding in the hi-hat on the quarter notes, the one, two, three, and the four. I'm gonna kick these up a notch as far as tempo so you can get an understanding of what this sounds like when they start rolling, okay? So let's take exercise one, and I'm gonna go quarter notes on the hat, right? <laughs> I got kick on one, two, three, four, and hi hat on the eighth note. The next part of this lesson deals with beat displacement. We're going to go through exercises one through eight. Now we're going to move them over by one sixteenth note then by two sixteenths, then by three. We're gonna keep our tempo with an eighth note at 60 BPM, okay? Okay, so we're about there. One, and, ready, go. Something to remember, we're going to use our master rhythm. So if it's starting with the right hand, for this particular exercise number one, that first note falls on the E. So right is on one, but there's no note on one. So the E is the left. Okay? And again, this is, so when you get into this, with your right on the one. Okay? Let's jump to exercise seven. We do the same thing. We're going to move it over by one sixteenth. One and ready. So once you've done all your beat displacements, you're going to discover a ton of really cool fills. So again, you're displacing it by 1 16th, 2 16th, 3 16th. Next, take the rest and fill that with something. So put a kick drum in there, a rack tom in there, a kick drum with a crash. Again, let's take exercise number one a little bit faster. Okay? So the exercise on its own with no beat displacement is... Okay, so let's put a kick drum in that rest. All right, let's put a rack tom in there. Okay, let's put, I don't have a crash here, but why don't we do the hi-hat with the kick drum. See how that works out. Let's try it without the hi-hat, might be a little cleaner. You're going to get into a bunch of stuff and I have no doubt that as you're doing these beat displacements and then you start adding in things in the rests, you're going to get off on all kinds of things that are all your own and that's the idea. So I hope you had a good time. Check out the next one on the four stroke rough and there's a lot of great tracks that feature the three stroke rough. So be sure to check them out. If you've got any questions at all, hit me up at mattstarmusic.com. I'm happy to answer any of your questions or turn you guys on to more classic tracks that have this great lick. See ya.